So my name is Fatih, and it's good to see you again. I know ECCV deadline is soon, but you are here. Um, I need to do something, and I was trying to think what to do. Um, OK, just look at me then. Um, I want to do some gym activity, but I skied all day, and I'm very tired. So I'm not going to do but think that these are the activities. So look at me. Oh, this is my presentation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on camera, but I'm shown. Okay. So, what it is? What did I show you? What did I show you? Uh, exactly. These are the actions, but uh, this is not like frame-wise action labeling, but we wanted to also detect, count the number of instances of the actions that kind of I just performed, you know? This paper is about that. So there are two contributions here. One is the kind of instance, uh, a new RGBD data set, which we call GET, gym, activity, data set. D is for depth, first D or the second D. And the second one is a kind of instance aware labeling method of the whole video. So it actually doesn't do only the frame-wise labeling, but also does action-wise detection individual action, uh, detections of the individual ac actions. About the data set, we have over 500 videos. My student kind of uh, painfully records all of it. There are 22 action classes. There are 17 participants, better kind of physics than myself. Uh, four different uh, viewpoints. This is a depth uh, kind of, I mentioned, uh, this is depth uh, sequences. And we have also the kind of uh, images, RGB images. Um, there are over uh, 12 instances per video of different actions, and each video is two minutes long and 30 frames per second. So please, uh, you are welcome to download and use it for your research. The instance aware labeling has two components. One is the frame labeling, like the conventional kind of take the frame, apply something, and then kind of what that action is. Then the second one is action detection module, actually, kind of it tries to find the beginning and end of the action. And there is a fusion module to kind of combine all everything together. This is what my student prepared. He couldn't be here because of the visa issues. I think you cannot see it. So what I tried to do, I just kind of enlarged the things. Before going back, there, there is a detection module. There is a labeling module. It is more kind of frame-wise labeling and then instance detection module than a fusion. Detection module is instance detection modules. We have this video and we have a temporal window. We have these images. And I will talk what kind of images they are. They are going into two streams, CNN, and very simple. We get these kind of uh, features and then we combine and we have a linear SVM to do prediction. We do it twice. One, to remove the background. This is what we realize it works better. And the second time to actually label. So. The first one also generates the proposals. We take the video, we kind of find, OK, here is an instant, here is an, another is instant. We do a lot of things to kind of uh, get rid of the duplications, and uh, we do non-mix uh, non operation and kind of other uh, also uh, tricks. And uh, the first one, the frame-wise labeling, is again using these features, uh, features, the same features actually, coming. And then there are two-stage LSTM to actually impose some dynamic constraints. And these are kind of short-term uh, LSTMs. We realize uh, long-term activities cannot be really accurately kind of modeled by these LSTM. So you now know the labeling module. Um, and then we, this is the interesting part. We take both of these inputs, the labeling in the bottom and the detection on the top. For each frame, we compute this frame label prior. And then kind of uh, we apply another convolution network and LSTM to combine them, and tada, you have the prediction. That's how you train your network, and then kind of it gives you the instances and the labeling at the same time. Our features uses dynamic images and RGB, and then some convolution network, then concatenated. Here are some results, and uh, we compare with the CNN LSTM and attention LSTM, bidirectional LSTM, ranking laws, and other things, as you see, either using RGB or depth, this algorithm is uh, superior. And also we look at the kind of how much fusion really provides. Does it really improve anything for frame-wise labeling? You see here the reds are the improvement factors. And that concludes my talk. Thank you. <laughs>